Work. I don't care how many times I do this, dude. I will never get tired of seeing that, bro. That was awesome. I that mean, just was... laying there in that crystal clear water. And that this was... is the type of water quality we would have at low if we didn't have the wind blowing. That is beautiful. Well, welcome back, folks. We've changed positions, obviously. We got coming up on part of the high tide right now. And Scott said, hey, let's go look in the grass over here, see if we can get anything. It should be pretty clear in there. Y'all saw it. it was crystal clear water right there. That was unbelievable. Man, what a fish. That's a good fish, too. Yeah. Nice man. work, Blair. And he loved, I mean, that spoon. The old Mogan spoon. Piled up on the Mogan spoon. It's a spinner redfish. Come on, open up a little. Let me get you handle. There you go. The old Mogan spoon, baby. That's the one with a trocar hook in it. You gotta be careful with those because they will go through your hand. Just like it went through that redfish's lip. <laughs> that is nice. Man, that was a great eat. That was so pretty. Crystal clear water. So I get to see him swim off. Yep, he swam right under the beaver tail, baby. Let's see if there's another one in there. Well, with a new tackle then, I'm gonna finally have a place to put all my trophies, like this one here from the FLW. This was a 2006 championship. Fished it with Captain Tad Vandermark, and let me tell you, I had a ball doing that, and it was just some great memories. And I think Captain Scott Owens is now a believer in the Mogan Spoon. He's called me several times asking for several more, so he's definitely a believer like I am in it. Up next, we shot down to Stewart, Florida, fish with one of my favorite people in the world to fish with, Captain Mark Nichols. And I think Mr. Producer Man has said that Mark has made the most guest appearance on Addicted Fishing out of anybody. Speaking of guests, if y'all want to become a guest in Addicted Fishing, make sure you go to our website, addictedfishing.com forward slash casting call. We're looking for new guides. You don't have to be a full-time guide. You can be a YouTuber, recreational fisherman, anybody out there. If you think you got what it takes to put me on some big fish, let's do it. Welcome back to the season finale of Addictive Fishing here in 2017. You know, we went down to Stewart and fished with Captain Mark Nichols, the creator of DOA Lures, and uh, you never know what you're gonna get when you're fishing with Captain Mark. But we're looking for some new faces here next year. Mark's always got a spot on the boat, but we're definitely looking for some new faces and places to fish, like I said earlier in the show. So make sure you go to Addictive Fishing forward slash casting call, give us all your info, and we're gonna choose from there who we fish with next year. Up next, Captain Mark Nichols doing what he does best and that's catch fish. Go check this out. Well, welcome back, folks. We come in now. We're uh, in the, what were we, the South Fork? Yes. Way back up in here because the wind absolutely, Mother Nature turned the wind machine on us out there and we're doing the best we can do. We got a bunch of little tarpon in here, little juveniles, a lot of fun to come do. Uh, I broke out the 7.9 because I did see a couple of bigger ones in here, but uh, throwing the new two and three quarter inch holographic shrimp. We're gonna see if it'll get the job done here. So they just live back in here all Can year? Can I fish here now? Go ahead. Okay. You're more than welcome. Cool. Did you fish? I figured since you did make the bait, so. Yeah. We'll let you fish it. I think he might have actually told me to make this one. There he is. Yeah, That's baby. That's a nice fish. <laughs> That's a nicer fish, you dog. Okay. Hello, my little turpin. Oh, that's a oh, that nice ain't bad fish. one for nice the canal fish. systems, huh? That's a nice fish. That's a nose breaker. Be, <laughs> no. care Be careful. I was looking, I was going, that's not good. That is not a good angle. I'm gonna get out of your way. What to do on a windy day? It's probably blowing 20, 25 out on the Indian River right now. So we came back way back in the South Fork of the St. Lucie River. And uh, the little tarpon live here. Beautiful little tarpon. Nice. So we're educating them with some DOAs. These little guys jump so much. They're such a cool fish. You ready? Right here by the boat. Come on. Oop. Sweet. He's still a little green. You think? I think so. <laughs> I'm glad I went to the 7.9 though. I had that 7.2 out. That thing would have been educating me. A nice little fish right there. What a gorgeous fish, man. Now you think these tarpon just live up in here all year long until they get big enough to migrate out and yeah. 
Yeah, this one's close. I mean, but we, you know, I haven't seen any giant migrations, although I have since started seeing more and more fish. It's it kind of should, it's gonna be an early year. Everything's so warm. Yeah. This fish generally, when they get, I do believe about that size, is when they start to migrate off. Yeah, I've seen them, this, especially the males this size. I don't know if it's right. male or female yet, but. I'll let you sex it if you want to. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> That's just all I got to say. <laughs> you allowed to say anything, that on TV? Anything else I say beyond that, it's going to get me in trouble. <laughs> and they do just like the big ones. When they're ready to give up, they'll come just on their side and... Yeah, so what do you have for me to grab this fish with? Oh, uh, your hands. Okay, that's what I figured you were gonna say. That fish could, you know, make my hand rough and everything. I have to tell my friends that my hand's bleeding because I was holding this tarp and it'll smooth it'll out. feel really bad for me. I didn't see where the hook was yet. I haven't either. Oh, perfect. Right in the top of the mouth. Open that jaw. Get that jaw. <laughs> yeah, you're laughing over Meanwhile, there. back on the Indian River. <laughs> there you go. Right, holographic <laughs> shrimp. So cool, sir. Yeah, those size you can pick up. Sweet. Nice fish. Hey, you get a little wet, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one there. You got me good. That was so cool, sir. That was a cool hit. <laughs> Thumped it just like a tarpon does. I felt that little thunk and then set the hook. Thank you, ma'am. So cool. Sweet. Let me take that tarpon. I'll let her get me wet. Boy, I ain't got that wet with the fish in a while. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> You're welcome. My pleasure. That, that was, was so cool. That is cool. Look how far up that line. No, nope, that's just slime. I thought his mouth got up there. A lot of times those tarpon will yeah, swallow. Yeah, bring a couple of towels with you or anything. Yeah, I got something. We'll dry you off in a minute. <laughs> but uh, a lot of times they'll flatten that line up there, but he flattened it right there. So always retie, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Slimy. <laughs> I might as well at this point. <laughs> I tell you, if y'all ever get a chance to go fishing with Captain Mark Nichols, he is one entertaining and interesting person to fish with and uh, we'll be doing a show with him every single year for sure. Up next, we travel to Destin and fish with a couple of military vets and uh, one lasting impression. If y'all stay tuned, we're gonna be right back. Well, welcome back, folks. Some interesting reading right there. This explains Bobby Dove's story and uh, a few more stories in there by George Bush. He created everything and thanks Bobby for the book. I really appreciate it. Now talking about Destin, we went up there for a whole week and we fished with two fellow veterans up there and had a great time. Went offshore with Bobby, went inshore with Lionel. I can't say much more about this show other than it made me very proud to do this show with these guys. So y'all check this out. <laughs> Remora is trying to stick his head up out of the water and eat it. Well, welcome back, folks. Still sitting off of Destin right here. We got Captain Bobby Dove with us, and uh, we are catching fish today. It's a catching show today. Now, I told you earlier in the show, we're gonna tell you a little bit about Bobby and what he does. As you can see, he is a survivor from Afghanistan. Hey, he's making the most out of life out here, catching fish and being a fishing guide, which is an awesome deal, an awesome deal. Now, you were a, uh, a medic, right? Yeah, I was a Special Forces Medical Sergeant. I got stationed here in Eglin Air Force Base this month, five years ago, in 2011. Not a bad place to be stationed, I tell you. I didn't know anything about Destin before I got down here. I got out of the Army two years ago, and I don't have any plans to leave anytime soon. So. Well, I was telling you earlier, I was Air Force, and I had some of my buddies went over to Desert Storm uh, right when I was departing. You know, it uh, definitely changes a man for sure. But uh, you say fishing has done it for you, though, huh? Yeah. Uh, I grew up fishing about every creek, river, and in the Chesapeake Bay in Maryland and Virginia. You know, I came back to it. I didn't really like being around other people very much, so I kind of did it. I was secluded, and uh, this just launched me straight up from there. Well, that's the best therapy in the world, isn't it? I think it is, yes, sir. <laughs> Not that's, as good as catching, though. Yeah, that's for sure. Fishing's always good, but catching is better. <laughs> oh, Bobby got a grown one there. Look out. 
gonna get you in that tank turret now. All right, my question is, how many pounds of pressure do you have on that? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> quite a bit. <laughs> Yes, sir, I think. You don't know how much it's not, though? What? Enough to keep them down there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that's a good You know, You know why you're catching big ones today, right? Why is that? They know the season's closed today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's some color. Right behind you. Yes, sir, that is a nice snapper. That's a big one for Destin, ain't it? I usually get one or two a day about this size. Yeah. Usually about 10 to 13 pounds. Open up. That's a pretty fish. Yes, sir. Nice circle hook. Roll it right out. A beautiful red snapper. Hey, it even makes you look good, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make me look a little better. I'll tell you, I just great. love this fall season down here. That is beautiful. See if we can get her back down there. Get on, baby. Bobby, awesome job, brother. <laughs> Come on. Let's see somebody drop a cannonball out of the sky on it. You don't know, hesitate to throw kind of out that way, too. You see where the rest of the schools of the mullet are. There's a hit. Bite. I don't know if I hit a mullet or a hit. Let's slow it down. I think that's a three, four redfish right in there. Uh, Just tail ain't seeing. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that one. Yeah. Well, a little pothole. You know, for the longest time, I was always looking on the flats for holes. Uh huh. Looking for potholes. When I was a kid, people say fish the potholes. I didn't know. You know, I was looking for holes out on the flats. I didn't know it was just a sandy spot in the middle of the grass. That pothole is probably a foot deeper than the. You know. Yeah. They just sit in there. Oh, follow our follower. Oh, Ooh. here we go. Ah, I thought he would have. He wants it. Come on. See him? Yeah. There he is. Oh, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, man. What a bite. Oh, my you, goodness. Ain't nothing better than a, well, that's a trout. The top water is just crazy. I thought it was a redfish. I think it might be a small. That's yeah, a little trout. He has some heart. <laughs> I, I don't know how. It's a nice one. He wanted that mirror lure. Easy. Come on, treble hooks. Don't get me today. I don't need it. Yeah, nice little pretty trout. First fish of the day. Nice. Well, I tell you folks, that was a trip of a lifetime fishing with those two guys up there that week. And speaking of trips of a lifetime, y'all been asking about it and we're doing the contest finally. Go to addictivefishing.com and there's going to be a spot on there where you can register to win a trip with me back on the Space Coast in my home waters. And uh, it should be pretty fun. We're going to give away like $5,000 worth of prizes to make it just a memorable trip for you, whoever wins. So make sure you go to the website, check out the little spot, register to win, come fish with me on the Space Coast and we will have a ball. Stay tuned. We're going to be right back with your favorite part of the finale, which usually isn't mine. It's the bloopers. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the season finale 2017. Y'all's favorite part of the show. Here it is. The bloopers, the fails, whatever you want to call it. It's me screwing up. Here it is. Oh my God. Show you what Captain... Bo uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's a tree. God. Want to walk... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, Bobby. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Welcome back to this episode of Dick Fish. We're saying, That's a below the boob cramp. That doesn't look like a catfish. Oh. oh, man. Oh, you look like Guy Fieri when you do that, dude. <laughs> you know why you're catching big ones today, right? Why is that? They know the season's closed today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, Tanner says. Oh. Did you miss him? If y'all want to become a guest in Addictive Fishing, make sure you go to our... Oh, God. Your butt gets hungry for yeah, your Yeah, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop. And then he broke, and you got, and he got off. Got me a tree. There he 
is over there. Hey, hey, over there. Hey, 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 over there. And what was really cool about this <laughs> episode? Well, that about wraps up 2017, bloopers included. Make sure you go to our website, addictivefishing.com. We're gonna have so much more new stuff here next year. We got the tackle den that's going in, be able to do product showcases, show you how stuff works underwater, rigging rods, all sorts of stuff. So make sure you stay tuned for Addictive Fishing 2018. It's gonna be a, definitely a new season for us. I wanna say thanks to everybody that makes Addictive Fishing happen. Our sponsors out there, and I think we have the best sponsors products on our show. Uh, it enables me to catch fish and do what I do. And also want to say thanks to the fans out there for tuning in each and every week and all the tune-ins y'all do on the YouTube site. Make sure you go there and sign up and subscribe to the site. Make sure you hit that little bell up there too because you'll be able to get the notifications as well. And uh, that's about a wrap and we'll see you on the water. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to AddictiveFishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. That's a beautiful specimen of a snook right there, brother. <laughs> that, that is, is fish. a beautiful fish. Hey, folks, my first walleye I've ever touched. How's that for a fish? A nice quality Everglades snook right there. And we will see if we can put you on the show. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>